All right, so today we are going to be playing disc-based movies on our Raspberry Pi. To get this going, I have used it for playing DVDs uh, quite often. I enjoy watching uh, DVDs because they're cheap to buy now. Same as Blu-rays. And, you know, I get a good deal on them. I'll throw them on my shelf, find something cool to watch here and there. And uh, then I'll come back to it uh, down the road when I want it to watch. Uh, it's just, yeah, with all the streaming services out there. Now, I use quite a few of them on the Raspberry Pi. I still like to be able to pop in an old movie that might not be on one of my streaming services at that time. One of my favorite movies to watch, of course, The Goonies. But that's on DVD. And I really wanted to watch, I had bought uh, on Blu-ray uh, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. I have the DVD version, but I wanted the Blu-ray version. It was cheap, so I thought I'd grab it and be able to play it on my Raspberry Pi. And thus making it uh, another low-powered video player. And uh, I use uh, the Raspberry Pi as my desktop anyways, so why not be able to watch uh, movies on there and be able to do more with it. So I'm just going to get out of here. The first thing we're going to want to do is press Control, Alt, and T on our keyboard to bring up our terminal window. And then we're going to need to install uh, some packages. So I've already done all this stuff, so I'm just going to give you the commands uh, that I use to get everything going. So the first one that you're going to want to do is su oh, sudo apt get install libdvd.pkg so that will be the first one you're going to want to install. And currently the newest version so I've already got that in. Sometimes it doesn't install correctly and then you have to run another the config package for that. That would be sudo dpkg reconfigure. If you haven't hit that like button make sure you do that now. Hit that subscribe button. More Raspberry Pi videos coming here soon. libdvd Wow if I could actually spell today. There we go, libdvd dash pkg. And then what this is gonna basically do is it's gonna run a little bit more config files for you and get uh, your libdvd package uh, installed properly. Because you might have had, um, it, it'll probably tell you when you do install that that you need to run this package or config as sudo uh, because for some reason it just doesn't want to do it so once you do that uh, I won't press enter here because it's already been done I'm gonna get rid of that the next one that we're gonna do is sudo apt get install uh, if you already have VLC installed don't worry about it just put it in uh, VLC and hit enter and then the next one we're going to go sudo apt get install uh, libaacs0 hit enter that's already installed and then we need the lib blu-ray package so we'll just go sudo apt get install lib blu-ray dot bdj hit enter so now there's one thing I found there's another one that for some reason I can't find but I know I don't need it uh, I've already tested with some blu-rays uh, that it was working and that was the sudo um, apt get install lib blue ray one It says it's known as another package or the package is missing or is obsolete or whatever it is. Unfortunately, I don't know, um, but I know 
for the movies I've tested so far I've had good luck and it basically works just like I was using my blu-ray player on um, another Linux based system with just VLC player as my default player so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to go and make a directory for our uh, config file for the key database so we're just gonna go mkdir-p and then there we go and then forward slash dot config forward slash aacs forward slash and then we're going to hit enter all these uh, uh that i've mentioned here i will post in the description below so you'll be able to just copy and paste those into your terminal window if you are on your raspberry pi or you can just have it for a list to be able to do that so if i go cd uh, dot config ls and then cdaacs ls now you see there's this key db dot cfg file now we need to download that and then move it into this folder here so all we're going to do is open up our browser so we're just going to go to https colon forward slash forward slash vlc dash uh, blu-ray dot who knows my name forward slash files forward slash key db dot cfg hit enter guess that helps if I check who knows my name there we go so the file is going to download once again this will be in the link in the or the, the link will be in the description below so now we have this file here. All we're gonna do is go back to our terminal and then go to CD, uh, CD downloads, LS, and then now we can see we have the key DB config here. And then all we're gonna do is go ahead and move that file over to our um, file that we just created here so all we're gonna do to do that is just go sudo mv and then the file I just hit K because there's no other K's and then I hit tab button and it filled in the rest and then we're gonna want to move that to our dot config dot a a c s folder and then all we're gonna do is hit enter but I already have that there so I'm not going to need to and then after that we should be able to load up our blu-ray so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to grab a blu-ray here and I'm going to pop it in like I said I want to watch that Final Fantasy 7 Advent Children so I'm going to go ahead now pop that in there and hopefully it'll work so we should see a little icon come up here there we go Notice with the Blu-ray, it does not say open with VLC player. That's fine. We'll just go and open it ourselves. If you put a DVD in, it will tell you open with VLC player. So all we're going to do is we're going to go to media, open disc, select the Blu-ray here. And then we want no discs or menus. Uh, sometimes it plays them anyways, but uh, for the most part, it should go pretty good. Uh, you can change uh, a few of the settings in here to make it run better. Uh, the caching options, stuff like that uh, for your playback. Uh, but I won't get into that today. Uh, but I can certainly do that later on. But for now, it's running alright. So I do know I have to tweak a few things. But here we go. Let's see what happens here. So there we go, we have Final Fantasy VII Advent Children on Blu-ray loading up here. So 
So as you can see here, I'm running the CPU pretty good, but I am recording the screen as well, so it's using a little bit more resources than usual. So anyways, I'm going to close that out. All right, so I have a working Blu-ray player. So right now I am using uh, an Asus Blu-ray player, uh, DVD player uh, on here. I do have the link in the description below there. So if you want to check out and see which one I'm using on here and know that uh, that player is going to work for you, then uh, you can check it out in the link below. So anyways, there's the, yeah, that's how I got uh, the Blu-ray to finally work on my Raspberry Pi. Uh, I, like I said, I still don't know what that lib Blu-ray 1 file is or if it's actually needed because it is working. I think I've had out of a dozen movies, a couple of them not working. But uh, just so you know, not all videos are going to play correctly. Uh, but for the most part, you should have no issues. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you do that now. Uh, make sure to hit the like button as well. We've always got more Raspberry Pi videos coming out every week. So make sure to stay tuned for them. There's always something new. And post any questions or comments in the section below. Thank you for watching everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?